my fellow conservatives. One year ago, we found ourselves lost in the wilderness. We feared that a massive stimulus bill might persuade Americans that more spending was good for the economy. We feared that a united Democratic Party might pass a health care bill that would lead to a government takeover of one-sixth of our economy. We feared those same United Democrats in Congress would pass a cap-and-trade bill, making all energy use much more expensive. We feared that a new president would hesitate from sending more troops to Afghanistan and engage in a precipitous withdrawal from Iraq. And one year ago, control of either the House or the Senate seemed many, many years away. Today, as 2010 begins, we can see change has come to our nation. Today, there are Republican governors in Trenton and Richmond, and a Republican represents Massachusetts in the U.S. Senate. Stuart Rothenberg says that 58 Democratic House seats are in play, and we only need 40 to retake the House. We have a good chance of winning Senate seats in North Dakota, Delaware, Illinois, Arkansas, Nevada, Pennsylvania, Colorado, Indiana, and California. And now, President Obama is endorsing a spending freeze. What can we learn from all this? For starters, President Obama is awesome. He has the greatest thing to happen to conservatism since Jocelyn Elders recommended the teaching of masturbation in schools. He has done more to discredit big government in one year than we could do in an entire decade. Finally, President Obama said earlier this week that he would rather be a really good one-term president than a mediocre two-term president. Mr. President, I share that dream. And I believe that by working together, it can be done. In fact, I guess you could say, yes, we can.